Now, we are always looking to give Irish businesses a bit of a boost, and today we are delving into the world of interiors by meeting some very, or some of the very uh, talented exhibitors who are taking part in this year's Love Your Home exhibition, which, by the way, takes place in the City West Convention Centre uh, the 8th, 9th and 10th of March, if it's something you're interested in. Get yourself organised, get online, and you can get tickets and go and attend it. Now, the first person we're meeting this morning is Emma Campbell. Good morning, Emma. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Now, uh, it's quite obvious what you do is, is painting, but your, your, your journey to this was unusual because mm. you were a beautician in, in a former was, life. I yeah. I was a beautician, had my own salon in Newbridge, County Kildare, and worked with that for many years. But now that's painting of a different kind, aren't you? You are it's, effectively yeah, painting on people's faces. Yeah. Uh, I know, it's a different type of craft, but yeah. I always liked art, even when I was little. I was one of the girls in school doodling, doodling on my copy, right? getting in trouble, yeah. Okay. So, um, but got married, had my boys, and, you know, family comes and work becomes a little bit more difficult when children come. So my husband tried to encourage me to get back painting. So okay. I, I did. So art became your, your, your kind of your me time, did it? It did. It became my me time, my little bit of chill out space from the boys when he came in from work. But it, it grew, it, it got a little bit better and I got into a few galleries. Um, I'm in the Irish Design Gallery in Dunleary, Omnibus Home in Belfast. And I'm about to go into the Blossom Tree down in Formoy. Okay. So it became kind of busy and through exhibitions it just grew on my Facebook and Instagram. Okay, uh, so you're an artist and you're in galleries. So wh why would you be part of, a, of an interiors exhibition then? So? Funny enough, because when people actually go to home interior shows, they're not just looking for your lamp or Cushions your sofa. Kind of stuff, they're yeah. looking for art on the wall as well. So I found last year the show was fantastic. The footfall was so busy over two days. That's why they're doing a three-day show this year. And so obviously you will provide them with a bespoke piece of art. Yes. So you take commissions. Yes, I take commissions. And, and oh, okay, and how does that work with or get in the way of your muse, your inspiration? Well, it can, but you have to set aside specific time for your commission work. So this year I've been particularly So what busy. the customer wants, the customer gets? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, you know, and so do you find that, is that more difficult or easier? It's more difficult because you really have to focus and concentrate on what you're working on. Because you're being told what to do. Yeah, and you want to get it right for them too. Of course you do. So um, my own work would be more free flow and I'd have a lot more fun with it. Don't get me wrong, I get fun, I have fun with commissions too, mm. but it, yeah, it's... Now, are these commissions or are... No, um, these, these are... Just, okay. Yeah, these uh, are two and paintings. You can kind of see there is a sort of theme here. Now, I, mean, I, I know nothing about art, right? Yeah. But this would remind me a little bit of Jackson Pollock. Type yeah, it's stuff. flashing, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll take that. But and, and as you move away, uh, the closer you get to it, stuff appears or yeah. jumps out at you. From a distance, it just looks like a you know really nice, colourful yeah, piece. Yeah. So there's a lot of thought. There is a lot of thought. There is a thought. There's process method in this madness. There is. There is. Yeah. No price. Well, they range. Okay. So I would so the start, small one down there. And um, the small one's a little wee print. So she would be start at 125 euros, and okay. as the prints go up, they get more expensive. My, these are my bad boys. So these guys are my largest paintings. They are 2,200 euros. So they're bespoke big pieces. But well, the work works down from that. Sinead O'Carroll over there likes this one a lot. And yeah. she's getting married sometime in the, you know, short-term future. Yeah. And uh, maybe either she treat herself or somebody else would treat her as a wedding oh. present. Okay. If you want to see more of, uh, uh, of uh, your work, you can catch you at the uh, Love Your Home exhibition. Yeah. And your website is Emma Campbell. Art. Art.com. Yeah. Thanks so much. That wasn't too painful, no, was it? No, it was grand. Thank you. <laughs> she was so nervous <laughs> beforehand. And actually, it's funny enough, there's an interesting connection right, because she's got a gorgeous ring. Can I just do yeah. the dance? Sorry, I don't know. I know I, I, he's going to go mad now, right? There's a beautiful ring here. See this ring? This is her wedding ring. And it was designed by this man's wife. It was. There you yeah. go. And they yeah. didn't know they were going to be on together this morning. And this man is Grant McHugh. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm very well. Your wife is a jewellery designer. She is, yeah, bespoke jewellery. And she designer. wouldn't come on here this morning. She says you're on your own. Yeah, she left me on my own, yeah. Right. Ran out the door. Interesting background. You were raised around water. Yeah. You've been fascinated by marine, maritime, sea stuff all yeah, your I've life. Yeah, always been around the sea. To the point that you Both. actually were, you trained on the Asgard? I was, yeah. I was a trainee on Asgard too, and then eventually became boatswain on board for, I was involved for about 10 years, yeah. That's so. serious sailing. Happy days. Yeah, good. It was great to get, we used to train about 20 trainees every week or so, so it was great to... Okay, and then the when you on. when you came off, when, when the sailor came home from the sea, you uh, your, your day job is what? I did a lot of yacht and boat maintenance um, for various clients. Uh, and then you have your the own business. Is it Safe yeah. Water Marine Services? Safe Water Marine was the, the boat side of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the sort of world changed. Not a lot of people were working on boats anymore. So I got into more doing stuff that 
incorporates the marine element, the timber and the stainless steel and copper then. Okay, I know you've always had a fascination with, uh, with, with craftsmanship. Uh -huh. uh, um, and obviously, if you, if you have sailed things like the Asgard, the, the craftsmanship, I mean, 100%. it's a brilliant boat, but it's a beautiful boat exactly, as well. Yeah. And the craftsmanship is of the highest order. So you converted that into this. Now, yeah. you, you obviously, we can see the maritime yeah. um, um, theme here. This is what? The, the, you, they're called spinning sails, but what are they? Copper and stainless steel TIG, TIG welded together. So they can go outdoors or indoors. Um, the stainless steel is marine grade stainless steel, so it won't rust or stain in yeah. any way. The copper would eventually go green. Now, that, the minute we, everybody looked at that straight away and said, oh, that's beautiful. And I, they also said, and that's probably very expensive. Um, yeah, certain bespoke items will be a little more expensive than... OK, this, this will be what, five, six hundred quid? It's 650 for that, OK, yeah. well, you can actually, I don't know whether it's, you're getting the full benefit of it at home or not, but it is a beautiful piece of work. Thank you. I'd hate to put it outdoors, but I'd imagine it's obviously where oh, the... Oh, 100%, is it? yeah. The, the copper would eventually go green. Yeah. I'm sort of scared to let one do that in case I like it, but... Um... <laughs> Uh, the smaller one here. Zanzibar, yeah, that's just a little bit of fun. They started about 120 euros. Okay, so. now, um, tell me about these, right, because yeah. I, I don't imagine there's a kitchen in the country that doesn't have a chopping board of some sort. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But it just makes it a whole much better experience if you have a lovely chopping board to chop on. No, run in the mill. Some of these, uh, no, they all have different pieces of wood. Uh, th these are all different types of wood, I'm assuming. Yeah, the, They're not stained, are no, they? No, God, no, no. These are all face grain boards, which would be like looking at the tree. Yeah. And these are end grain boards, which would be looking down the tree. So you've got the grain sticking up. Okay. So these boards would be much better for your blades. They'd be more forgiving. Yeah, you said in the notes here that yeah. this timber is self-healing. Well, what does that mean? End grain because the fibres are sticking up, it's like brush fibres. Okay. So after your blade goes down, they will sort of self-heal, they'll close up. I'm not saying they won't mark, but they won't mark as much as, say, a face grain board. OK. Um, can, can I ask, give me a rough idea of prices from the smallest from to the... From the cheese, 45, middies, 55, 65, all the way up to maybe 150 for the, the end grain boards, because there's a lot more work involved in those. Lovely presents. Because yeah, they you, are. every home is going to use these. Oh, 100%. And it just makes life... You come in and you use a, your own board and just... Oh, yeah, they become, they become family yeah, heirlooms. Yeah, they do. And, one client of mine actually hangs one in the wall of his house. He doesn't use it. <laughs> so, I can well understand it. Yeah. If people want to know more, they can actually go and see you at the exhibition in, yeah. the, uh, in, in City West, but also they can go to grantdesigns.ie. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Grant, yeah. pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Now, finally, we, uh, we come to... This is Amy Gillen. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? Are you? Not too bad. Uh, right, now, um, these people kind of found their way indirectly into art, right? But yeah. you were always going to do this because this is always. what you went to school for, this is what you trained for. Yep. Degree in fine arts, is it? Degree in fine arts and design from Crawford and Cork. But I've wanted to be a painter since I was 12. Really? Yeah. Okay, Very so... Very arty household. Did so. you go in for the Texaco competitions and all of those? Uh, to be honest, I didn't. Did I, you not? No, I was a bit too free-spirited. I like doing my own thing and... Okay, yeah. so you, you went and you studied it and you got I trained did. at it and all the rest of it. So that you, your life was always going to be as an artist. But of Definitely. Course, you know, there's a lot of artists who, who also waitress and do other jobs. It's very hard to make a living out of it, isn't it, unless you, know you teach? I got very, very lucky straight off the bat um, because locally in Tullamore, they're actually very supportive of the arts. So every time I did an exhibition, it was really well received. So therefore, I had enough money to put towards doing the sort of shows like the show we're doing in okay. two weeks' time, which the last couple of years I found that they're amazing because they make art really accessible for everybody. Because sometimes people can be a bit terrified to go into a gallery because they're like, oh my God, the price is going to be so huge. And then they come to a home show and they go, oh, there's a stand with art. And they come over and they chat to the artist and they get a real mm. feel for the work and the effort that goes into paintings as well. Okay, so, now, so you're thing. primarily a painter, but you work in different uh, painting mediums. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, so it's a mixed we, medium. We so have, we'll, we'll take the one that most people will be familiar with here, which would be this, which would be... So this is called Crash Into You and it's actually on canvas and it is all hand painted. And it's a combination of gloss, acrylic and glass paint. So it's okay. all done in layers, so it's built up. The lovely sheen you see and the vibrancy, that comes from the glass paint as the final layer. It does, so it, it just gives that extra it, dynamic. A lot of people presume it's a resin, but it's less plasticky than a resin. It's kind of more subtle. There's a kind of a, a gracefulness it to it. It also means that whatever way the light hits it, it can yeah. reflect in very different ways. Yeah, not, not the usual ways. They're kind of, I call them my moody paintings because they change with the light, which I really love. OK, now that's beautiful and it's very striking. With the two Thank things you. that caught my eye were uh, this and this, and I, it looks, it, you'd almost be mistaken for thinking it was kind of like a version of stained glass or yeah. that style. That's what because I was Because you can for. see the metal work, was it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm a huge fan of Harry Clark, you see, so oh, well, I yeah. absolutely adore him. So. This is this is beautiful, and the intricacy and the design. This is paint, it's acrylic, it's what? So basically, I hand draw these first, 
then I draw onto the canvas, then I paint into it, and then I lead over it again. So it actually is paint, but the lead liner, the silver and the gold, is a special type of liner. It's like trying to draw with icing, pretty much. So you make a mistake, it's gone. Well, start look, again. All of the stuff you've done yeah. here this morning is is, is beautiful. The, these, I because I, I have a one of the presents I got for my wedding uh, was uh, was a piece of stained glass by somebody, right? Because mm. I have a, a I don't know what it is, fashion passion for it or whatever. Mm. That really caught my eye. Can I ask you how much? So I have very affordable work and very expensive work. So it ranges, <laughs> you can get a very small painting for about 120, which okay. are a perfect gift That's size. Absolutely. And I've got about twice the size of this for about 6,000. <gasps> so okay, it's just but what's a lot still, of time, they take months like, at a time. Something like that. It's about 350, 450, it depends on the piece. Okay. Well, look, yes, you know what, it, it, it's, they're all beautiful, it's gorgeous. And uh, I think I know where I'm going to be on the 8th, 9th and 10th of March. I'm going to be in the City West Convention Centre, seeing this and more like it. Yeah. Wish you all the very best. Thank you for coming in and sharing with us this morning. Uh, right, now, coming up very shortly, Marietta Doran is uh, back with more great spring style to give your wardrobe a revamp.